imagine it's not just the Simpsons that make predictions. Tad O'Malley has been making claims. Claims about what? You and everyone you know has a piece of DNA in your genome put there without your knowing it. Put there by whom? Well, that's the question of the day. This is an internet lunatic. You're not saying you believe him. Just hold on, Agent Einstein. You're talking to a scientist. Uh, forgive me, Assistant Director. It may sound insensitive, but the suggestion is pure science fiction. What I'm saying, Agent Einstein, is that the facts, as I understand them, cannot be discounted out of hand. No one has the right or the ability to tamper with your DNA. Unless we gave them that ability. When you say they're tampering with our DNA, that they're able to shut down our immune systems by the addition of something to our DNA. Yes, but I don't know how exactly. Or how it's being triggered. I don't know that either. Or why it's happening now. What can we possibly do? We need to act quickly. You were right about that. Well, I was wrong about the science. I was wrong about what's causing it. Dead wrong, in fact. It, but it's clearly a widespread failure of our immune systems. Through gene tampering. A virus within a virus that was put there through the smallpox vaccine. It's what these men are calling the Spartan virus. We have to figure this out. What's wrong with the science? Okay. The Spartan virus removes the adenosine deaminase gene from your DNA. It removes the ADA gene and your immune system will simply vanish. Yeah, but I'm not getting sick. It's only a matter of time. Okay. So how does it work? How does the virus remove the ADA gene? A process called CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR -Cas9. RNA and a protein cutting genes at exact locations. Exactly. But in this instance, used as a weapon. The ultimate weapon. The ability to depopulate the planet. To kill everyone but the chosen. By tampering with their DNA. Through gene editing. Why do such a thing and lie about it? Our own government. Your own government lies as a matter of course, as a matter of policy. The Tuskegee experiments on black men in the 30s, Henrietta Lacks. What are they trying to do? That's the missing piece. But it's not hard to imagine. A government hiding, hoarding technology for 70 years at the expense of human life and the future of the planet. Driven not only by corporate greed, but a darker objective. The takeover of America. And then the world itself, by any means necessary, however violent, or cruel, or efficient. By severe drought, brought on by weather wars, conducted secretly using aerial contaminants and high-altitude electromagnetic waves. In a state of perpetual war, to create problem, reaction, solution scenarios to distract, enrage, and enslave American citizens at home. With tools like the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act, which abridge the Constitution in the name of national security. The militarization of police forces in cities across the U.S. The building of prison camps by the Federal Emergency Management Agency with no stated purpose. The corporate takeover of food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals and health care. Even the military in clandestine agendas to fatten, dull, sicken and control a populace already consumed by consumerism. And I encourage you all to go shopping more. A government that taps your phone, collects your data, and monitors your whereabouts with impunity. A government preparing to use that data against you when it strikes. And the final takeover begins. The takeover of America. By a well-oiled and well-armed multinational group of elites that will cull, kill, and subjugate. Happening as we sit here. It's happening all around us. The other shoe waiting to drop. The banks will announce a security action necessitating their computers to go offline all weekend. Digital money will disappear. They can just steal your money? Followed by the detonation of strategic electromagnetic pulse bombs to knock out major grids. What well, will seem like an attack on America by terrorists or Russia. An invasion of the U.S. The Russians tried it in 47.